just off the top of my head, I can tell you that this is going to be a problem if we want to print it. Why? Because it's broken up into, into materials. In order for this to be broken up into materials, this has to be broken up into separate pieces, right? So broken up into separate pieces means nothing is going to be touching. So the very first thing that we want to do is get rid of all the rendering hoo-ha. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the surface ISO curves because it makes it easier to diagnose where the naked edges are. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag select the entire model, everything, and hit join. All right. Now, what this does is this starts, Rhino will go through and try and figure out what was disjointed, what wasn't disjointed. Um, and let me just shave this real quick so you can see it. I'm going to shut the ground plane off. And we're going to start making this into a rapid prototypable part. And you'll notice a couple things about this. One, all these bits and pieces are separate. So that means I have to verify that all of these things are watertight. So what am I going to do first? Cell open polysurf. Ooh, look what lights up. So I'm going to hide everything else. I'm going to, I'm going to invert selection to hide objects, boop, which gets rid of everything except the stuff that's open. So let's take a look at what's open first. And let's just take a look at this guy first. So let's look at this. So I'm going to I'm going to show naked edges cuz that's going to show me where the hole is. This pink, if you see pink, there's a hole. All right? In this case, all I have to do is cap and that's full. It does not light up when I sell open polysurf, which is why I have it in my pop-up. See these two here? I have this center, this middle mouse button pop-up. It's cuz I use these all the time. All right, that doesn't light up. So I'm going to bring everything back. I'm going to run it again, and then I'm going to hide everything that doesn't light up. Show naked edges, and see where the problems lie. All right, so in this case, there's a window missing. Most likely, I can extract that window, go to the top view, and mirror it, join it back up, and fix that problem okay if the world is behaving that should be a good fix right so I've got an open spot here so I'm gonna extract that because in this one this edge right here right this edge was fine it's this edge where there's the problem so what am I gonna do I am going to slam this door shut by taking a curve and I'm just going to trim it back a little bit. And in this particular case, I can do this because there's an element that sits in here. And I am going to make a planar surface. Join this up. Bring this back. And join it up. Okay. Now, two surfaces or polysurface joined into one open polysurf. All right, so that means it's still not watertight. So let's run cell open polysurf again. But we're doing better, right? We've only got two things in this wheel. I'm not even going to worry about this wheel. I'm going to just delete that and I'm going to mirror this one. Why fix it if it ain't broke? So let's see what's not lighting up now. All right, so this is this is the last bit that's still lighting up. I'm going to shut my ISO curves off so we can see it better. Let's see where the problem is. All right, now you may or may not have caught where the problem is, all right? And if for some reason I can't find it because it's a teeny tiny little piece, there's a zoom button here, boop, which will take you right in to where the problem is. All right, now, <clears throat> here's an issue with this model, all right? If I sell open polysurf, it still lights up. Let's cringe and say sell bad. Oh, okay, so something bad. So, there's a bad surface in here. Where is it? How do I find it? Well, I can explode the whole model and then do cell bad and find it that way. Or I can extract bad surf. 
and it's going to pull out that bad surface. Now, here's the trick. If you've got a symmetrical model, which this is a symmetrical model, right? I did one half and copied it over. You may be able to get out of this by just deleting this half of the model and remirroring it. But let's assume for the time being that's not, that that's not the case. The right way to fix this is to look at the stuff that's around it. All right. In this case, most of the time, the way to fix a bad surface is simply to untrim it. Oops. Untrim it, keeping the trim objects on. Okay. Just make sure it's all untrimmed. And retrimming it. In this case, notice. Notice the center line. Look at this. See how this is kind of a little weird. There's a little kind of weird thing going on there. So I'm going to help Rhino out a little bit just by extending this edge. And I'm just going to extend it a little bit so that this curve, in this case, I'm going to get rid of this curve because it looks like there's two of them in there. I'm just going to use that curve and I'm going to retrim it. All right. Get rid of my curves. Bring my model back. And let's see if that fixes it. And it looks like it did. So let's sell bad. Again, I always cringe when I hit this button. So no bad objects. So we fixed our bad object. So we don't have any bad objects now. But we do have what my business partner and I like to refer to as a crumb. All right, this is a little crumb. And you can tell that there's an issue because this is the center line of the model right here. And this thing is jogged over. So something is wrong with this surface, this surface, this surface, and this surface. Which means the right way to fix it. Remember I talked about the right way and my way. The right way to fix it is what we just did. Right? Which is... To, untrim, to pull it out, untrim it, you know, go through the proper model steps and stuff like that. This is the hack. This is the, this is the, I want to go home, it's Friday, and I'm sick of being here, and I just want this stupid thing to print. I'm going to take a little cube. Take this little cube, and I'm just going to trim a hole. All right. So I just hacked out the crumb. And I'm going to just very quickly loft this thing back together. All right, down here, I'm going to do a two rail sweep with chain. Everybody at McNeil has indigestion watching me do this. They're like, dear God, man, no. All right, I just hacked that thing out. And I put it back together, and look, one closed poly surface. Look, no cell bad. Look, no open poly surface. <laughs> I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. I'm saying that it can be done, and it does work, and I've done it more times than I care to admit, and it will get you out the door. If I mesh this, it will make a closed mesh. So I'll open mesh, no object added to selection. This is a closed mesh. No naked edges, no non-manifold. So the right way, the I got to get out of here because it's my anniversary and my wife will kill me if I'm late yet again way. <clears throat> and off you go.